10 fresh restaurant marketing ideas for 2016. Um, number, what are we Number answering? six. Number six. Participate in the on-demand economy. Um, according to a, a contributor for Business Insider, the on-demand economy is defined as the economic activity created by technology companies that fulfill consumer demand via the immediate provisioning of goods and services. Companies such as Postmates, Grubhub, and Caviar are worth considering because of the ability to extend the existing reach of local restaurants and to have a positive impact on, lo on labor allocation toward food delivery and on-demand ordering. There's tons of platforms now, and we don't really use any of these, but I know in like larger cities, they use like these New York like, City they use this and, stuff like yeah. crazy. People want to go on, order their food, get it delivered, order their food, go pick it up, like seamless right now is huge. And it's a it's a way for people to go online order their and food. order from multiple restaurants right. food. And, it's and a it fantastic. gets delivered to right. them. Or we, you can go pick it up. We actually did a seam we didn't do a seamless order in one of the restaurants in the city last time well last year when we stayed in New York City and um We did do one. We didn't do one. We've done them, but there was one time we didn't do one and they didn't know to look on their regular system. Uh, we went to their website. We went to their website, it was for um What's our, one of our favorite vegan restaurants? Those are vegan cheeseburgers. Oh, Blossom. Blossom. There's a Blossom Cafe. The Blossom, a little, little Blossom, Blossom Express. Yes. So we went on their website and ordered. Well, that for them was its old technology. They were used to seamless orders. So we actually got there and our order really wasn't processed because everything is seamless now. The seamless app is how everybody's ordering. They're like, oh, your order's over here. And it was like, it was a little thrown off. And, you know, that was like, okay, so we've got to go seamless all the way. And we've been using seamless. So there's a lot of great apps out there to keep connected with your customers and get your product to them quicker. You know, people just don't want to wait anymore. So it's like why Uber. And I'm assuming that these, these on-demand um, things, you already put your credit card in. Yes. And it's connected with your phone number. And they just automatically charge it. So you don't have to re-enter it. Tell them you're, it's probably yeah. all connected. Somehow. It's just like Uber. People don't want to raise their hand and wait for a cab anymore. They want to go here and know that it's paid for. And on its way and see where the cab's at. To go wave a cab down in New York City now and wait five minutes. There's certain intersections you've got to wait and wait and wait. There's no cabs there. So people, people just want, go on Uber and... Yeah. Take care That's of it, it right there. That's it. People, people don't want to wait anymore. No. And it's 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 a shame and disgusting almost that we have no patience in our society no anymore. No patience. But this and is the I way think, technology has brought us to. No I think patience. It's the same way in restaurants. People don't have the patience to sit and eat. And you have to be extremely interactive and you have to be extremely careful on your brand to make sure that that fits, you know, yep. the waiting process. Yep.